Joining me now from the US is Hollywood and Royal reporter Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, Royal aides have criticised what they call the madness of social media as conspiracy theories about the Princess of Wales' health continue to circulate online. But Kinsey, the question remains, where is Kate? We have not seen her since Christmas Day. And we know very little about why she was hospitalised for two weeks in mid-January. I mean, well, the palace has reacted to the social media commentary and they've said, we were very clear with you that we are not going to give you regular updates on the Princess of Wales after her abdominal surgery. Uh, she's going to be in recovery until Easter and don't expect to see her then. But I think that this is a reflection of Harry and Meghan oversharing for the last four. I know it's just people say we blame everything on them, but Rita, stay with me here. I mean, for the the last four years, we had a book, we had a, re we had a reality show, we had multiple sit down interviews. And when Meghan Markle had her miscarriage, she announced it, uh, you know, through uh, the, the, was it the New York Times? Like she wrote an op-ed announcing her miscarriage. And I just think it's warped our expectations when it comes to uh, what we want to hear about the British royal family and what we expect to hear about the British royal family. Uh, you know, we didn't know necessarily that Princess Diana was dealing with uh, her um, ailments when she was not only had mental health problems, but was dealing with bulimia. Um, you know, we found out about it later, but that it's just not, it feels like Harry and Meghan have made it a way more okay for us to try to push the envelope and ask for more when it comes to pri the privacy of, of the real working royals. You're you're 100 percent right there, but the argument against that is that it, we're talking about Kate. We're talking about possibly the most popular royal now, now that the Queen's no longer with us, and the future Queen. And she was so active. She was. Uh, the number of engagements she did, she was a proper working royal and to not have seen her since Christmas Day, you can understand why genuine uh, royalists, monarchists I should call them, are a little bit perturbed. They're, they're worried about whether she's okay. I mean, a healthy woman of her age spending two weeks in hospital, we don't really know what other than abdominal surgery, uh, you can understand why, in the absence of any information, these conspiracy theories are, are flying around the social media sites. I, I, get, I can a little bit, but I also think that some of them are so outrageous that it feels more on the malicious side, like trying to cause trouble more than actual sincere concern. I don't know if you've seen some of them, but some of them are very malicious and nasty. Uh, you know, I think mm. that you're right. Catherine is a prominent figure and she is so beautiful. You know, she looks, every time we see her, she's, she's glowing. Um, but the good news is that the palace has told us as recently as Friday, I believe, that she is doing well. They talked to page six and they said, look, we don't want to give you guys regular updates. The only thing we asked for was privacy, but she is doing well. So are we getting details on what it is she's suffering from or where she's at in her rehabilitation? We're not getting that information. But is she OK? The palace says she is. Now, let's move along to Meghan Markle. Uh, no mystery around uh her activities, she shares it all, as she appeared to enjoy a very lavish winter getaway with friends in Utah uh, last week. Uh, but there was no signs of Harry Kinsey. That's OK. You can have a girl's trip. Well, you know, if it's, an, if it's a day that ends with why, uh, the chances are pretty high that Prince Harry is, is fighting somebody in some sort of litigation, if we're being honest. Um, but when it's <laughs> Meghan, you know, I wonder when is Meghan Markle not on vacation. If you look at the recent IRS tax filing, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle each worked just one hour a week for Archwell Foundation. Their contract with Spotify was terminated because oh, wow. they were not productive enough. And according to this new article that came out last week, uh, written by The Wrap, Archwell Productions is in chaos because their Netflix deal is under pressure, likely again because of productivity. So when is Meghan Markle not on vacation is the real question. But yes, you know, the suit star was spotted via Instagram <laughs> with 
you know, Pilates platinum owner, Heather Dorak and co-founder of Alliance of Moms, uh, Kelly McKee, I think it's Zafkin, Zafkin is, that, is that how you pronounce her name? They're not, they're not celebrities, but both women posted the photo with like highly cura curated captions about their hearts being so full, very Meghan Markle, you know, language. Oh. Uh, so there's nothing suspicious about that. Oh dear. Um, yeah, when is she not on vacation is an excellent question. I had no idea that we're working only an hour a week. That is outrageous, but you know. And they, that's to what them. they told the IRS. Uh, they, they lie about everything else. You're gonna tell the IRS that you, like that's the, that's the one place I'd expect them to be like, oh no, we spend at least 48 hours a week. <laughs> But no, an hour. Maybe they're even overstating that. Uh, Queen Camilla has announced she will be taking a break from official duties after leading the monarchy following King Charles's cancer diagnosis. She was doing a lot of the heavy lifting um, for a period there. And it sounds like the king will be back to duty soon as he announces his intention to visit Australia by the end of the year. Yeah, and I think that this, you know, we're going to see the Queen on March 11th. She's going to be representing the family for Commonwealth Day. So it's not like uh, it's not like the, the mystery surrounding Catherine or either, you know, even with Prince William, they were like, he's taking a temporary break and we didn't have something, a date to look forward to. With this, we know we're going to see her in a few days, realistically. I also expect to see the King in video form on Commonwealth Day, whether he releases that through television or um, through social media. I think we're going to hear a little bit from him as well. Um, but, she, you know, she's done 13 engagements by herself recently. You know, I'm sure she'd like to spend some time with her husband who's ill and just, you know, have a little peace and quiet. Now, something entirely different. Let's talk a bit about Ye, Kanye West and his wife, Bianca Sensori. Uh, she stepped out in a surprisingly modest uh, outfit recently and it's been reported she might actually face legal ramifications for waltzing around Paris pretty much nude. Uh, meanwhile, Kanye is also making a bit of news, sliding into the DMs of some... Uh, ladies on Instagram, according to the boyfriend of one of those ladies, boxer Bryce Hall. Try to keep up with this. There's a lot happening. Kinsey, what is your take on this strange union? Is she a victim, Bianca? Is Kanye using her uh, to punish and humiliate his, his former wife, Kim? There are so many theories about his treatment of his new wife, uh, including a great deal of focus on how she dresses or how little she dresses. I know. I know Bianca way more than I ever thought I should or would, but thanks to the way she dresses. I've got <laughs> a lot of intel that I wish I could un untell. Um, but um, I think <laughs> that I've never seen him be uh, verbally or physically, or, or I don't know how, if he's emotionally abusive towards her. But it is, I'm going to admit something to you that I'm ashamed of. I have watched episodes of The Kardashians, and there was one where Kim talked about how Kanye chastised her for the way she dressed. and. It, it, she was wearing very little. She looked very sexy. And Kanye was critical of her and said, you, you know, the mother of my children should not be seen this way. And while Bianca hasn't had his children, you would expect him to hold her, you know, up to the same standards. There was also the weird Julia Fox thing. And we are still haunted with Julia Fox every other day. She's in page six. Oh, yes. and, and his temporary girlfriend as well. Oof. These feel like projects with him. I think that he feels some sort of power in elevating these women and making them become celebrities. And maybe it's his way to hurt his ex-wife. Um, but I, I, I don't know. They're, mm -hmm. they're a very strange pair. We know very little about their private lives. And I used to champion Kanye, but I've stepped back. I, I can't, you know, you know the, the anti-Semitic stuff is where he, he seems lost to. Me. Well, he's done a 180 on so many things. You mentioned he was very critical of Kim Kardashian dressing so immodestly, but, I mean, you know, she's practically a nun compared to what Bianca's getting around in, and, and there's reports from her family that that's all Kanye is doing. He is dressing her, um, and uh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of questions about what's going through his mind. Kinsey Schofield, uh, thank you so much for your time this evening.